Hey uh, folks, uh, this lesson is on exponents. Uh, this is 7-1, uh, and don't forget all your lessons can be found at this groovy website. And when you go there, we're going to click, there's two sixth grade links, so you'll click this one. This one's for my California group, and uh, this one here is going to be loaded, and I think I'm going to load it right up here, and I'll probably load it in, in uh, black uh, links. Yeah, it looks like it's time for... Uh, do the text in black. Anyways, it'll be right here, 7.1 uh, for exponents. Okay, here's our common core strand for our awesome teachers, and our question here is how do we write and find the value of expressions involving exponents? Okay, here we go. So we can use an exponent and a base to show repeated multiplication of the same factor. So for example, here we have the same uh, number, 5 times 5 times 5, so it equals 5 to the third because there's three fives right there, okay? So the exponent is the number that tells us how many times the number um, is being used. And then the, the number uh, that's being a repeated uh, factors is called our base number. So this is our base and this is our exponent right there, okay? So uh, 5 to the second power can be read as 5 to the second power, 5 with an exponent of 2. So it can it's mostly read as 5 to the second power or 5 squared right here. Sometimes they say the second power of 5. I don't know. I don't say it that much. And over here, 5 to the third power, 5 to the third, or 5 cubed is probably used the most. So 5 cubed if it's to a 3 power and squared if it's to a uh, 2 power. Or you can say 5 to the second power or 5 to the third power, okay? I noticed uh, your textbook said the third power of 5 and the second power of 5. Yeah, I don't know. I, I don't say it like that. But anyway, so here we go. A table shows, uh, this table shows the number of cookies that John can receive in each level of a game. So use an exponent to write the number of cookies John can receive in level D, okay? So... 3 times 3 times 3 times 3. So we're going to write this as an exponent right here, okay? So we're going to, um, uh, the number 3 is being uh, a repeated factor right there. So 3 is used as a factor of 1, 2, 3, 4 of them. There's four threes, okay? So we're going to write it, uh, write the base and the exponent. It is 3 to the fourth. That's a lot of cookies, by the way. 3 times 3 is 9. 9 times 3 is 27. Finally, 27 times 3 is, well, if you don't know that, think of this. Here's 3 times 3 is 9, and then here's uh, 3 times 3 is another 9, so 9 times 9 is 81. A lot of cookies. So John uh, is going to receive 3 to the 4th cookies in level D. Yummy. All right, so explain how we know which number to use as the base and which number to use as the exponent. Okay, so we'll use the, the one that's being repeated as the base, and the number of times it's being repeated is going to be our exponent right there, okay? All right, so here we go. So uh, use one or more exponents to write the expression. Okay, so here we have 7 times 7 times 7 times 7 times 7. So the number 7 is being used as our repeated factor. In fact, it's being uh, used 5 times. So that's going to be 7 to the 5th. Okay, over here we have two different numbers that are being repeated as multiplication. So, so there's uh, the numbers 4 and 5 are, are used as our repeated factor. So those are our two bases. So 4 is used 2 times and 5 is used uh, 3 times. So 4 to the 2nd times 5 to the 3rd. Okay. Both of those are huge numbers, you guys. 7 to the 5th is a very large number in the thousands, you guys. Um, and so is the other one. So find the value. Okay, so 10 to the 3rd. Okay, so, so we're going to use repeated multiplication to write 10 to the 3rd. So the repeated factor is 10. And uh, the factor is going to be 3 times. So it's going to be 10 times 10 times 10. Okay. So we're going to go ahead and multiply uh, each pair of factors working from left to right. So let's start with these two. 10 times 10, okay, 10 times 10 equals 100, all right? And then now we'll do 100 times 10, okay? Well, 100 times 10, we're just going to add another 0 to the 100, so that's going to be 1,000 right there, okay? All right, so find this value, 7 to the first, okay? So the repeated factor is 7, and the factor is happening one time. 7 to the first is just 7, okay? And then let's write 81 as an exponent by using 3 as a base. Okay, well, here's one way, you guys. We can uh, find the correct exponent by uh, just uh, guessing, you guys. What's uh, 3 times 3? So if the exponent is 2. 
So we're going to try the exponent of 2. 3 times 3 is 9. That's not big enough. Okay, so let's try 3 times 3. Our goal is to get up to 81. Okay, well, 3 times 3 times 3. Well, here's 3 times 3. This is 9, so 9 times is 3. 9 times 3 is 27. Okay, and that's not big enough. We need to get 81. So let's try 3 to the fourth power. Try 4. Okay, all right, so here's 3 times 3. That's 9. Here's another 3 times 3. That's 9. 9 times 9 is is 81 so there's our ticket right there so let's write uh, using the base as an exponent 81 is 3 to the fourth right there okay so it's that 3 to the fourth all right so explain how we how to write repeated multiplication of a factor by using an exponent well we use the repeated factor as our base number and then when the, uh, the number of times it's being repeated is our exponent number all right, so is 5 squared the same as 2 to the 5th? Is 5 to the 2 power the same as 2 to the 5th? Well, 5 to the 2 is 5 times 5, which is 25. 2 to the 5th is 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 five times, which is 32. And 25 doesn't equal 32. So no, that they don't equal each other. All right, so just describe how we can uh, have solved that problem with that uh, 81 in example 2 by using division. So they wanted us to write 81 as a, a 3 to a power. So we can start with 81 and just start dividing by 3 over and over until we finally get to 1. So for, um, for example, 81 divided by this uh, 3 is 27. And then take 27 and divide it by 3 again, we get 9. 9 divided by 3 is 3. Fine. Finally, 3 divided by 3 gives us 1, so all these blue 3s right here gives us this 81, so 81 is all those blue 3s, which is 3 to the 4th. All right, you guys, hope that makes sense, and take care.